And because this LED light strip driver from ZemiSmart is a Meta supported device, it means your LED lighting in your smart home can now be controlled over Meta, which keeps your smart home up to date with the latest technology, and that's important. And not only does this device support both the 4-pin and the 6-pin LED strips, but another great feature with it is how the brightness of the individual colours can be individually controlled. So I can change the colour of the LED strip to red and set the brightness to 100%. Then I can change the colour to green and set the brightness to 40% and then continue using other colours and getting dimmer every 5 seconds. So for example, Alexa, can you please demonstrate this? Yes, of course I can. Okay guys, are you ready? This is just one thing I can do with this semi-smart LED light strip driver. Hey guys, and welcome back to another video. If you're new here, hello and welcome to my channel, and I hope you like today's video. If you like smart home and automotive technology content, then hit that subscribe button, because that's what you're going to see on this channel. In today's video, I'm going to be reviewing this ZemiSmart Smart Meta LED light strip driver. ZemiSmart call this their ZML3 model. They also have a Zigbee version of this device as well. As always, I'm going to start today's video off by telling you all about it and how to use it. And then I will be installing this 5 meter long LED light strip all the way around my smart door frame. And then we'll be putting this device to the test. Before I continue, I also have a great deal for all my viewers this time. Zemi Smart have very kindly offered a 10% discount for all of you on this ZML3 Meta LED light strip driver. So if you want to get yourself a really great deal on this product, then all you need to do is click on the link in the description below and use this promo code. This is a great discount they are offering on one of their new products. So a big thank you to ZemiSmart for offering this discount to my viewers. Okay, so what is this device then? Well, it's basically a LED light strip controller that you can use with any LED light strip of your choice and control it over your Wi-Fi. And of course, it's a Meta supported device. So if you're currently setting up a new smart home based on Meta, then this device will be perfect for controlling your RGB lighting. When you buy this device, you are buying this controller itself, and only that. It does not come with an LED light strip as well. You need to buy that separately, and ZemiSmart can supply this for you with the controller if you ask for it. Okay, so the way this works is you have six outputs, and they are V+, which is your voltage output, which is used to power up your LED light strip. And please note that this V+, output is constantly powered up with the device. It does not turn on and off. It's rated at 12 volts DC, not 5 volts DC. So before connecting your LED strip to the device, please make sure it's a 12 volt light strip and not a 5 volt light strip, as not all light strips are 12 volts. If you are unsure of this, then it's usually written on the light strip itself. As you can see, this light strip is 12 volts, and this one is 5 volts. The other 5 outputs are marked R, G, B, C, and W. And these letters, as you may already be aware of, stand for red, green, blue, cold, and warm. And these outputs are what you connect your LED light strip to. Your LED light strip is marked with these letters on it as well. However, there are two different types of LED light strips, which are your 4-pin, and there's also a 6-pin. If you have a 4-pin one, like this, then you won't have the letters C and W, as only the 6-pin LED light strips have this. C and W, of course, are your cold and warm colours, such as your cold whites and warm whites, like you have with your standard LED light bulbs. This ZemiSmart LED light strip driver can be used with both types of LED strips. So if you're using a 4-pin LED light strip, like me, then you don't connect and use the C and W outputs at all. Now, in regards to how you connect the LED light strip to the controller, yes, you can make up a little adapter to do this, such as this one here, which I have made already. This end here connects to the controller, and this end here just plugs into the LED light strip itself. Then we need to power the controller up. So as you will see here, next to the little reset switch hole, we have two more connection points, which are marked V plus and V negative. And these can be used as your power supply input, which is rated at 12 volts to 24 volts DC. So you can use this input with a power transformer, just make up a little test lead like this for testing. But we also have another input here, which is also a power supply input. And if you have a 12 volt power pack, such as this one here, you can just plug it in and power the controller up that way. I'm actually just using this 12 volt power pack that came with this LED light strip. So it's plug and play, and it's rated at 12 volts at 2 amps. 
So you have two options which you can use to power the controller up. So just use one or the other, do not use both of them. So to use this LED light strip driver, you simply connect your LED light strip to the outputs, use your power supply of choice to power it up using one of the inputs, and then because it's a Meta supported device, you will also need a Meta supported smart gateway hub, such as this one here, which is also from ZemiSmart. And you will also need a Meta supported app to use it as well. Remember, Meta is still a relatively new protocol, so not all apps can be used, but a lot can. So you could use Apple Home, Google Home, Alexa, SmartThings, etc. And today I'm going to be using Alexa. And yes, of course it's supported by Alexa, Google and Siri. I won't bother showing you the setup process is where the Meta device is so simple because all you need to do is scan the QR code and that's it, you're all done. Okay, so with that being said, it's now time to set this up and test it out. So as I said before, I'm going to be installing this LED light strip around my smart door frame and then using Alexa, I'm going to set up an automation. Okay, I've got the LED strip installed up and around the entire length of my door frame. And a 5 meter LED long strip is just long enough to do that. As you can see down here, this part here is all I've got left of the 5 meter length. So if you want to put a LED light strip around your door frame, you need a 5 meter long one to do it. And it's connected through my adapter to my Zemi Smart LED strip driver and I've got it powered up so I'm just going to plug it in and then comes the fun part, the automation. Okay, so I've set up an automation to control my Zemi Smart LED light strip driver in the Alexa app and I'm using the smart contact sensor just up there on the door frame. Now let's see what happens when Alexa closes the door uh, but first I'll close the curtains just to make it a little bit darker so it's um, easier for you guys to see the lights. Uh, Alexa, close curtains Okay. That's better. Okay. Alexa, close door. Okay. Okay, as you can see, the Zemi Smart LED strip driver is controlling the color of the lights to change every five seconds. There's millions of colors you can choose from as well. This smart device actually works really well with Alexa. As you might be able to see, these LEDs are also really, really bright. And that's because I have them set to full brightness. But if that's too bright for you, then don't worry, because the LEDs and colors are also dimmable. So, for example, Alexa, set LED strip to 30%. Okay. Alexa, set LED strip to red. Okay. Alexa, set LED strip to 90%. Okay. Alexa, set LED strip to blue. Okay. Alexa, set LED strip to 50%. Okay. Alexa, set LED strip to green. Okay. Alexa, set LED strip to 100%. Okay. What's even cooler though, is using the Alexa app, you can also set individual colors to their own brightness level. So, for example. I have set up an automation in the Alexa app that when the door opens, the light will turn on red at 100% full brightness. Then after five seconds, the light will change to green, but this time I've only got it set to 30% brightness. Then another five seconds after that, it would change to blue to at 10% brightness. So let's try out the automation. Alexa, close door. Okay. So as you can see, that's pretty cool as well. And even more so, if you're using a 6-pin LED strip, because you can get it to control the LED strip in your room to different brightness levels throughout the day using your cold and warm colours, which is just your normal room lighting colours. I can't say I have ever seen anyone fit an LED strip around the doorframe before, but I can tell you that it really brightens up the room considerably. 
So although it may not look the best to an interior designer with an LED strip stick around your door frame, I can confirm it's extremely effective and I can highly recommend it. If you're using the Alexa app, there is a color inside the Alexa app called Salmon, which I'm on now. Um, and if I reduce the brightness of that, as you can see, go down even more, that is about as close as you're going to get to cold and warm colors without a six pin LED strip. So that color actually provides a really good light for nighttime. Of course, like all smart lighting devices, you can also set it up using time schedules to turn it on and off at certain times of the day and night as well. Of course, once your LED light strip is permanently set up with your Zemi Smart Smart LED light driver, you can then interface it into your smart home and get the light to change color when different smart devices trigger in your smart home. So, for example, when Alexa closes my door, Alexa, close door. Okay. I can get my Zemi Smart LED light strip to glow red. Then if I tell Alexa to open my smart trash bin, Alexa, open trash bin. All right, please put all of your trash in the bin and then close the door. I can get it to change to blue and then use this as a reminder that I have not closed the trash bin door. Anyway guys, that's how the Zemi Smart Smart Matter LED light strip driver works. And that's just some examples of how you can use it. As you have seen, it's a really great device that works incredibly well. And setting up the device is not at all difficult to do. Once you have the adapter cable made up to connect the LED strip to the controller itself, it's then really easy to set up and use. If this type of job is too tech for you to try, then you could just chop the plug off your LED light strip and connect it directly to the device itself, which would be a faster way, but being able to unplug it is more convenient. And I like making things, so that's just the way I chose to do it. But an adapter cable does not have to be made up to use this device if you don't want to do that. So, this smart device from Zemi Smart works really well. So if you like what you have seen and want one for yourself, then I have put a link in the description below for you, which will take you to Zemi Smart's website where you can purchase one. And if you don't have an LED light strip to use, then ask Zemi Smart to add one to your order for you. I would recommend buying the 6-pin LED light strip, as you can do more with it than a standard 4-pin LED light strip. Zemi Smart have also added a lot more exciting products to their range now, so don't forget to check those out as well. Anyway guys, that brings us to the end of another video. So thank you so much for watching. If you liked this video or found it helpful, then please like, share and subscribe to the channel, where you can watch even more videos, which I upload every week. And I hope to see you all in the next video.